Gravmaga is the system that they use in the IDF, uh, in the Israeli Special Forces and the Israeli Defense Force. They use it, uh, men and women, everybody goes to, to do their army service in Israel and that's, therefore it's very effective for women as well. You use your own weight against the, the force of the attacker, uh, which you actually use his own muscles against them. And uh, that's why it's really effective. It can really help you for um, any situations in terms of rape, domestic violence, if you go and practice fitness outdoors, running in the forest, climbing mountains, hiking, anything like that. So it's really effective to make you, just to give you a better lifestyle. I'm, I'm definitely sure about that. And today I'm going to show you about five, take you through about five techniques which can really help you in that. So first thing I'm going to show you is going to be the balanced body position uh, and how to start off all, basically all of the techniques. Okay, so what do, you, what do you want to do over here? You sort of want to get your hands up in a position like this. Okay, so you don't want to look as a fighter, you want to be surprised. So you want to over here get into a position like this where your hands are up, your feet is nice and balanced and your eyes are going to be fixed onto the guy's chest. Okay, because from this position you can see if he's going for weapons, you can, your observation is going to be really good. If he moves you back, you still have your balance. If he pulls you forward, you will still have your balance. So the second move is going to be a choke hold and how to get out of that effectively. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to grab her. She's in a body position. She twists forward and she clamps the arm and she goes three elbows to the head. One, two, three. She twists forward and she kicks to the groin. That's it. And then from there, head behind the head. She takes me down and she finishes off with a kick. The third position, we're going to do an anti-rape technique on the ground if the guy wants to choke her. So position on the ground is going to be with her feet up and her hands up in a position like that. The guy comes in, he's on top of her, she's going to put her foot down there. He's going to choke her, she holds his arms, she lifts up her butt, she uses her body weight and goes over on the elbow. She gets up and kick behind the head. So the fourth move we're going to do is the attacker arriving with a knife, okay, knife mugging situation or anti-rape situation. The knife arrives, first thing she gets in a, a balanced body position, as soon as he starts to, to go for clothing or try something she reacts, she goes forward, she locks herself tight, when I pull she's tight, she releases the knee, one, two, three of them, she breaks the shoulder and she's ready to react. So the fifth move we're going to do is going to be a gun situation, close, okay, which is something you would encounter quite often. The guy's going to arrive, the gun arrives there, she's in a body position, when she reacts she comes forward and she clamps the gun, she clamps tight, if I try and fight back she releases knees to the groin, that's it, and she works with the body weight, breaks the wrist, releases the gun, cock, and she's ready to, to respond. So today I've showed you a true version of what Krav Maga really is and uh, if you are interested and want to find out more, catch us in the May issue of the Women's Health. Thank you.